All right, so have your math book out. We're going to be using it today for our video. Um, this is page 391. So I'll give you a minute. Everybody turn to page 391. And what we're going to be looking at is how can you write a fraction as some of its fractions with the same denominator? So I, we're going to be learning how to rewrite fractions. It's kind of equivalent because they're going to be equaling the same, but we're going to do it when we are adding them together, the sum. And this is important to note, to note right here that is with the same denominator. That's something that you really, really got to check that they have the same denominator. So our first one here is we have a sandwich here. It says, Emilio cut a sandwich into eight equal pieces and ate one. And here's the piece that he ate. He has seven eighths of the sandwich left. Emilio put each remaining piece on a snack plate. How many snack plates did he use? What part of the sandwich did he put on each plate? Okay, so we can think of these as the plates. So he has seven eighths left. So he's gonna put one of these parts on each plate. So it would be one eighth plus 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 one eighth. So we've got to count how many plates that would be. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we've got that from our numerator. So seven eighths is equal to one eighth plus 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 one eighth. This is kind of, we're just taking what we know about addition. For example, if we have six, we know that is the same as three plus three. We also know it's the same as four plus two. We also know it's the same as five plus one. So we're just taking what we know from addition and now adding it with our fractions. So we did the same. If you add all of our numerators, they equal our numerator. Remember, what do you notice about the number of pieces total? That does not change. That sandwich is still eight pieces. So the denominator does not change, but we can, we can change our numerators to still make it equal seven. Okay, so on the next page, we're just taking these and doing the sum of the unit fractions. So this is, these are the unit fractions. So three-fourths would be the same as one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth. And we can see it in the pictures there. Same with our five-sixths. Now we don't do this one because it's not colored in. So it's five-sixths. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's plus one, plus one, plus one six, plus one six. And I'll tell you what usually gets people is they don't go back and recount. I need five. I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they all, it still equals five, six. So you might see this written as the sum of unit fractions or which are equivalent. I would like you to do number three on your own number four and number five. So now, and then six and seven is we're gonna write them different ways. We're gonna do those on our own. So I want, I mean, we're gonna do those together. I want you to do number three, number four, and number five for class. Now you don't have to write it on your notebook. You just have to answer it in your book and show us the book. Now, if you don't have your book, then you need to draw it on your paper. But down here, it says write the fraction as the sum we're gonna do this one together and then you're gonna do number seven on your own. So write the fraction as the sum of fractions three different ways. Okay, and I'm gonna stop here because what I'm worried about is you're not watching my videos. You're just scrolling forward and writing down what we have. So the code word for tomorrow during math, you need to give it to us is puffball. So give us the code word tomorrow, puffball. Don't give it to us until we ask for it though. But the code word is puffball. That lets me know that you actually watched the video. Okay, so now this one. It says write the fraction as a sum of fractions. So I don't just want equivalent fractions. I want the sum of them three different ways. So I've got to do it three different ways. And the way that I think about this is 
I need to, my denominator does not change. So I don't need to worry about that. I need to think of three different ways to do eight. So what are some ways that you know how to do eight? I know four plus four is eight. I know five plus three is eight. And I know seven plus one is eight. So I can do that. So how you change it to the fraction, would the denominator stays the same. So it would be four tenths plus four tenths. That's the same as eight tenths. Then we could have five tenths plus three tenths. That's the same thing as eight. And then we can do seven tenths plus one tenth is the same thing as eight tenths. All of these equal eight tenths when you add them. Now the other one that we could do is the one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's another way to do it. So now your job on number seven is to come up with three different ways to do six out of six. Six sixths. Six sixths. All right. Can't wait to see what you come up with. And don't forget the word.